Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we're going to be doing our hydro core mill, alternating with a change at the rack position instead of at the bottom in a pendulum. The point of changing where we change is that it helps you develop greater and greater levels of coordination and control. Coordination and control under load are all prime athletic skills. You can be bigger, you can be stronger, you can be faster, but you can also learn to be more accurate in all the movements that you do. Our mill combines a circle above the head behind the body and a circle in front of the body below the body. What we are going to do is we're gonna take our mill and instead of combining it with an alternating pendulum, we are gonna combine it with an alternating circle. That is gonna change our position where we change directions from the bottom to the rack. Whenever we pick up our hydro core, we face the side with the valve towards our body that way, whenever we drag it across our body, the valve is not dragging across our body. Just a simple little thing in order to make it easier on us in the long run to do thousands and thousands of thousands of reps. We are gonna start with our side to side swing, sitting into our back leg, warming that up. We have our alternating circle, which is what we are gonna combine with our mill. We are gonna have our mill and we are going to catch in rack. Now our alternating circle starts our mill on the other side. Pop it off, go through our mill, and catch in our rack. Use your rear leg to start the movement of the hydro core and pop your arms to get it going. Those two things together, legs and arms, start the movement. Get through our mill and catch sit in the rear leg. Rear leg drive, arm pop, through the mill, catch, rear leg load. Our mill is one of the most important athletic developers that we have because it mimics our throwing pattern. The good thing about the hydro core mill is it mimics a double throwing pattern. You have your inside throw and you have your outside throw. And we are doing them both together. Our inside throw is used in most sports, but our outside throw is used in most forms of violence. By doing an alternating mill, we force ourselves to rotate both directions equally well. Most people rotate one direction very well, right hand across the body for 90% of the population on the planet, because 90% of the population are right-handed. By combining our alternating mill, with our circle, we make sure that we are equally as good at rotating with our left hand. Being equally good at rotation on both sides helps us avoid injury under rapid direction change in athletic activities. That outside movement that we do, we see all the time in martial arts. And if we wanna do that movement better, we need to rotate more and sit in our back leg. And you will see this movement in fencing, you will see it in all different types of striking arts. You'll see it in a lot of double weapon arts as well. Doesn't matter what your sport is or if you even play a sport, this exercise is good for you. It's good for your brain, it's good for your body, it's good for your abs, it's good for your back, it's good for your glutes. It's good for everything. It's nearly perfect, nearly perfect. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.